absolutely terrifying. That thing is massive. So much larger than my canoe. I have no idea. Apparently doesn't think that there's anything edible on the canoe. Either that or it's never seen one. Doesn't know how to react. Maybe unlike its smaller cousin, the Great White, it's not an ambush predator. Ah, <sighs> thankfully. Alright, so... I've been up here. I saw this island. We saw an interesting little friend along the way. I think it's time to get back to Wilson. I don't want to spend too much time away. Just to see. I want to make sure everything's okay back at the island. Yeah. But this... This journey, it set... It let me know that... I can explore. So far, it's been relatively safe. <laughs> so far. Do you have to admit that out here on the water, while... I mean, the longer I'm out here, the more peaceful it becomes. And... I can't help but have my mind tend to wander. Strange, though, is I've been getting these weird ideas. And I don't know what's causing it. Telling me that... Items. How to... I don't know really how to explain it. How to assemble nets. I've never assembled a net in my life. But all of a sudden, just out here on the water, just thinking. For some reason, I have an idea about how to knit a net. I'll have to give this some further thought. Maybe it has something to do with this contraption that's found itself embedded in my wrist. I don't know. I just know I wake up in the middle of the night, even back with Wilson, and I had an idea to assemble the forge. I've never assembled the forge before. Curious. I wonder if I can see another one of those... As we pass by this, I've got to get my mind off the flood of ideas popping into my head. I mean, I've always, back home, I used to go for walks. This is a form of meditation. Just let your mind go. Let your thoughts run. Here, apparently, it's sleeping, rowing, walking, standing. And ideas are just coming to me. They're just flooding. I need to turn. I really need to be able to turn my brain off. It is working overtime right now. I wonder if I can see one of those things. I wonder if the flood of ideas is because of this thing on my rich and oh my god, it itches. Oh, wow. That was a breach. I wasn't aware those things could breach. Now I'm extra terrified. That one's close to the surface. We're going to give that guy a wide berth. It's not going to make much of a difference. From what I've seen of those things, if it puts that tail fin in order and it gets going, it can catch me in no time. And there we have it. There is another one of those things. Very, very curious. The size of the wings on that thing is far too great for its small body weight. 
Are we gonna have another encounter? Hello. Hey, little guy. How are you? I don't have anything for you to eat. I know that's what you want. Hypnotizing and mesmerizing. All in one. I know it's only been a couple days since I've been out, but... Ah, uh, that lifeless lighthouse. Oh. Makes me smile. And in the distance, unless the mirages on this water are playing with me, that's my island. Ah, feels good. Not there yet, but it feels good. And here we are. I wonder if Wilson's okay. <sighs> Strangest thing. It feels good to be home. I mean, I realize it's just a cave on an island. Somewhere. I really can't explain it. There's that moment where you don't understand what's going to be waiting on the door. Wilson! That's a very convenient meeting, Wilson. I... Okay, apparently you're upset at me. It's okay, I'm home, Wilson. Yes, and I brought some things. Let me go grab them. Um, different ideas. Um, you and I, we're gonna have to have a chat here in a little bit. I don't understand. So many different ideas have been coming to me. So many. Thanked at my time out at water, I would have leaned over and taken a drink. I was too interested in getting home to you, Wilson. That's right. Although we do have some things. How have you been? Uh, you've been doing good. Good job, Wilson. All right, so. Yeah, one of the ideas that came to me while I was busy rowing was scissors. I know, right? Look at them. Yeah, and you use the obsidian. Yeah. I can't explain it. I really can't. It just came to me. Ah, oh, feels much better. Oh, it's been forever since uh, I I've never been one for beards. I know, and it was getting really, really long. But we've got all this extra hair. I need to figure out how to use it. What we're going to use it for. Also, there's several different things that came to me. I know, it, it's extremely odd, but just these ideas were just flooding my mind. Right. I know. Uh, matter of fact, here, let me, let me show you a couple different things. You have a couple moments. We're going to chat while I uh, do some more bindings. Yes. Lots and lots more bindings. Yeah, well, it gives us the time to gives us time to catch up. Yeah, I know you're good for it. All right, Wilson. See, this is what we've been working on. Yeah. Yeah, it does take a lot of lashings, but you know, I think it could absolutely be worth it. Yeah, if something's running at us, I hope that it's it'll it'll actually stop something. I hope so. I mean, it... No, I won't. Okay, well, apparently, um, they work, Wilson. Can you move? No? Ah, they work! All right! Thank you, Wilson! I appreciate that. Also, I ended up making myself up some feet, or some shoes, 
doubling up the uh, the hide that we've been uh, gathering from some of these creatures and then using it for the bottom of my feet. Yeah, um, running around, my the calluses on my feet have been really starting to build up. That's where you guys ran off to. Where have you guys... What rock have you guys been hiding under? This is not going to end well. Why are you guys chasing me? Why are you chasing me? I mean, you're curious, little guys. What are you trying to get? trust this at all. There they are. What are you guys doing? more interested in me. Hmm. Staring at me. I don't trust you. I definitely can't leave you. The teeth says that you're angry. surrounding me. Alright, I'm sorry. I can't have this... I'm sorry, little guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna... I am gonna skin you, though. See, the other ones around here I can trust. That. Okay, this is gonna wear on my conscience all night. We need to figure out a way. Yeah, because... Wilson, when... He went from that to what we have in the cave. There has to be some way... I mean, feeding has to do with it. Let's see if we can figure something out. All right, so if we take some berries, we bunch them. Got it. All right. I have this. All right, let's go see. Let's see if this works. Because if we can't, then we'll just do what we do, what humans have been doing for hundreds of years. Feeding animals and making them our friends. There you are. All right. Do you like berries? Let's watch. Yeah, I'm your friend. Eat up. 
Oh, you do like it. You like berries, don't you? Oh. Okay. There's another one. Would you like more berries? Ah. You just saw it. Hey! And now you're our friend. Oh my. Okay, this will work. Wilson, I have a friend for you. I know, right? Wilson, meet Sally. Come on, get to know each other. Come on. There you go. You two will have great conversations and now I won't feel so bad leaving you in the cave for extended periods of time because you and Sally now can get along. I know, right, Wilson? Oh, she loved the berries. I gotta tell you, she loved the berries. It was a wonderful little bouquet. We left on the beach and she loved them. Yeah, it'll be great. Whew. Things might be looking up for us, Wilson, but it's starting to get dark outside, so I think it's a good time for you to keep an eye on her, make sure she doesn't peck out my eyes while I sleep. Wish me luck. 